What's up, it's you. For today's video, we have a full stat boosting, defense, and special defense ability Pokemon team. Wow, that was a mouthful. So if you've been watching the last couple of videos this week, I've been focusing on every stat and all the abilities that actually boost or sort of help out each stat. And today we're going to be doing a mix of defense and special defense. Now, I'll tell you the reason why I did that as we get into the video. If you do want to follow me on Twitch, make sure I do it. That's where I do all my live theme teams, Pokemon Sweep, Shiny Hunting, and all other games. Now, there, as I did this theme, I found out there was a lot of abilities that actually help with defense. But there really wasn't that much in the game and in general that actually helped out special defense. So that's the reason why I merged both of these together. I could have actually done a whole team on just on defense. There were so many of them. But uh, special defense, there really wasn't too many. Okay, so we got one of the rare special defense ones. And it's Frostmath with uh, Ice Scale. So this is going to be a physical set with Choice Band. I thought I'd try it out with Triple Axel. Uh, we got Max Health and Max Attack out of nature. Uh, this is a battle against Ice Cube as well. And on my Twitch chat, I believe both these battles from them. So uh, we're going to go for a Triple Axel here. I'm going to get paralyzed by the Galvantula. It kind of sucks there. And I only hit twice with Triple Axel, right? So this is each hit is obviously an individual hit, right? And you don't don't always hit three times, which really sucked there because I easily could have taken out, you know, the Galvantia. So Galvantia is going to go for another Thunder there against my Frostmoth. It is a bulky set, and of course, it's got the Ice Scale as well. So I'm going to go for another Triple Axel, and Spider Man is going to fall off his web. Now, the only other in this team, right, I only ran the Frostmoth as a special defensive one. Uh, obviously the ability. Now, all the other ones are going to be defense. Uh, the reason I did that, the only other one that I probably could have used, right, um, I obviously I got locked in there with the Wonder Guard, I had to swap, uh, was a Cherim, and then when it goes into Sunshine form, it actually gets a boost in a special defense. That was really the only one that was super specific to special defense. Um, you could say I could have used multi-scale too, but of course that wasn't in the game. And there are a couple of like legendaries, you know, like Shadow Shield and things like that. But really there's just a very big shortage of special defense. There's a lot of defense go. So anyway, we're going to go into the uh, Lola Persian, which got uh, the Fur Coat, which is very, very nice ability there. And uh, we got the Shindida going down to a beat up. This is a King's Rock beat up set, max attack and max speed. I went, uh, I went jolly on this one and I had Hypnosis on there as well and I was just going for as many flinches as possible. So the next Pokemon is a Zekrom. I'm like, man, this is going to do no damage at all. I'm going to need like loads and loads of flinches. The good thing about this, um, I actually got uh, six Pokemon to hit, but a fun little fact here, I'm not sure if, um, if uh, anyone are watching this or just if you didn't know this fact, right? Say if a Pokemon gets paralyzed, right? You know my um, Frostmoss is paralyzed from the Thunder. They will actually, in turn, stop it from using an attack in beat up. So I'll only be able to hit five times. So that's kind of, that sort of sucks, like, when you think about it. I guess, like, I, I think it'd be kind of, uh, like, kind of cool. I'm not sure uh, if you remember in the old games, it'd be like when you use beat up, it'd be like, you know, for example, Dragonite's attack, Mewtwo's attack, Oddish's attack, Magikarp's attack. They actually took all those things out, like, when it actually said, um, in the animations, it just does each beat up. So maybe if you had that, you could be like, you know, Magikarp attack, but it got paralyzed. I don't know. Something like that you could have like a 50 50 roll on it so anyway we got the zekrom i'm just belting this with the beat up at the moment trying to get their flitches and uh, it finally gets through an attack but it's not an attack it's a dragon dance i'm like oh man this is this is really bad i gotta take this out for it attacks me because this thing with uh, you know, a boost in speed and attack is going to be really, really scary. And it's already very bulky as it is, as you can see. So I do still outspeed due to that jolly nature, which is good. I'm going to go for another beat up here, getting five hits off as well. So Frostmoth is the one that's actually missing out not doing a beat up. Uh, just a fun little Pokemon fact if you didn't know that. So I uh, go for more beat ups here. I think this is like, yeah, that's the fifth one. And we get a Electro Ball from Zekrom. So Dragon Dance, Electro Ball, pretty cool there. And it's not going to do a lot of damage there. Obviously, um, they're not really really fast enough because I still outsped them. So they probably would have needed a, like a bunch more uh, Dragon Answers up. Um, and of course, I'm quite a fast Pokemon, so Electro Ball works off speed. So it was cool, but it really didn't work up against my Persian. If it was against a slow Pokemon, it would have worked like much better. So I've well, taken out half the team so far, so things are going pretty good. And uh, the next Pokemon is the uh, Urshfru. So I'm like, okay, Urshfru. Well, the only other movie I've got is uh, Fury Swipes, so let's go for that. And Fury Swipes is going to miss. And now we got a Dynamic Punching Urshfru, and Dynamic Punch is going to miss. I go for another Fury Swipes here, and this time it's going to land, which is good. And then I hit it twice. I'm like, man, that really sucks. And Dynamic Punch lands against my Persian. There's no way I'm living that one. Even with Fur Coat, 
that is never going to happen. So down goes my Persian. I've got my Frostmoth left. I was like, okay, let's swap in Frostmoth. Let's see what other moves it's got right. But it may just go for Dino and Punch again. I may be able to get off a, uh, you know, I've got a uh, Dual Wing Beat here. That could be nice. And uh, Play Rough could be also be good. But uh, Dual Wing Beat combined is going to be more powerful. Unfortunately, it's going to have Wicked Blow. I thought it would have Wicked Blow and uh, Frostmoth is uh, going to faint there to the crit. It always crits anyway. So I've lost... Uh, that's a pretty good poke on there. I would have... I, I wish I didn't get paralyzed there. That would have been nice. I would have, like, had... I would have taken less damage, too, if I landed uh, triple axles at the start. So swapping in Beware here. This is a round throat spray set. It's absolutely horrendous. I went for round, and then they went for throat chop, which actually sealed me from using round. So as you can see there, I'll just uh, bring it up on the screen when I click on round. It stops me from using the sound-based move for a set amount of turns. So th there's nothing I could do there. I'm just going to go for focus miss. Uh, now, Urshfu is going to go for a poison jab there. It's not going to do any damage, and I don't get poison. And focus miss misses like, Man, come on, I'm getting counted so hard right now. I thought about going for a hot and spicy hive beam, but, uh, you know, I, I wanted to get some super effective damage. Now, Dynamic Punch is going to land. Okay, I'm like, if Dynamic Punch lands against me, I've got to be able to land Focus Miss, right? And uh, I've got that confusion for Dynamic Punch, which is bad too. So I'm going to hit myself with confusion, and I can't even believe this matchup right now. I'm getting so unlucky. So I just went for Focus Miss again, trying to get as much damage off as possible. Dynamic Punch is going to miss, and Beware is going to snap out of confusion, and it's going to pop off a of Focus Miss finally. Uh, the EVs on this one were Max Health and Max uh, Special Attack Modest Nature. And that was actually enough to take out the, the Urch Reef with a crit, so... I was very lucky there. I got, I, I guess I got a bit of redemption from the bad luck I had earlier on. Now, the next Pokemon is Necrozma Dollwings. I'm like, oh, wow. What, what, what am I going to do to this thing? It's bulky. It's got good offense. I, I, I can't even do anything. I can't even use Substitute. So I've got to just stay in here and just let it take me up, basically. So it's going to go for the Photon Geyser, and Beware is going to go down. So Beware um, was the Fluffy set as well, if I didn't mention that already. So we had uh, Ice Scales, uh, Fur Coat, and Fluffy so far. There's a lot of defense uh, abilities, right? So I, obviously, I couldn't fit them all on this team, right? And there's a couple of Pokemon. One I couldn't use either because they're not in, actually in the game yet. Man, I cannot wait for the Crown Tundra. Um, I'm, I'm actually doing these videos um, in uh, advance as well. So I'm probably going to be doing this video about three days before the uh, Crown Tundra comes out because I want probably like one or two days off just to relax and stuff because, uh, you know, I'll be playing a lot of the game a lot when it comes out. I'll be doing a, uh, a stream on Twitch. It could be 24 hours depending on what I want to do on there and how much content there is and what stuff there is to do. So just bear that one in mind if you do want to come and watch that live. It's going to be fun. So uh, we got a, uh, a really, really bad matchup here. I've got my... Uh, the only way to take this out, right, is to use Fissure. This thing has cosmic powers and its ability too, right? Which is, actually would work on this team when you think about it. So we got the uh, Meteor Beam here. It's not going to be very effective, but it does actually boost the special attack of my um, well, of the opponent, right? And they get a crit too, which is really bad. So obviously Mudsdale is Stamina. Stamina is a great ability there. Uh, Mudsdale is a great Pokemon too. So I was basically desperately trying to hit this, like one Fissure, right? Um, that would get rid of around all their cosmic powers and just take them out. But if I don't get this before I faint, it's going to be almost impossible to take this out, right? So now we got a Moon Guys Beam. I was like, okay, this has got a special attack boost already. Uh, it's got like 69 cosmic powers up. Uh, I'm probably not going to be living this one. So Mudstow is going to go down. That was very unfortunate there. Poor Mudstow, but he will be back in the second battle. So now it's like, okay, I'm going to bring my most bulkiest Pokemon. Um, well, can be very bulky. This is going to be Milotic, and it's a Marvel scale uh, set there. So when you, obviously, when you burn, uh, you get a big defense boost, which is really, really nice. So I've got Toxic and a Whirlpool set. This is the only other way to take out the uh, Necrozma Door Wings, right? But anyway, um, as I, I just wanted to explain this. So I will have all my theme teams up to the Crown Tundra done already. Um, this is actually the last video, or second last video I have to do. So... It'll probably this will probably be the last video for the DLC. There may be a Pokemon sweep I put up before there. I did actually get a Tentacruel sweep, so that one could possibly go up before then. But uh, after that, there's going to be yeah, there won't be any video. So um, it, it comes live on a Thursday for me. So I think that uh, Wednesday will be the last upload, and then you know I'll be doing that uh, full stream on Twitch. I will do an upload to YouTube, just telling you uh, where I'm doing that. But uh, that day there won't be any uploads. I'll be just playing the DLC and stuff. Uh, you know, constantly, basically. And then, obviously, I'll be releasing some new new theme teams of some of the new Pokemon and doing some strategies with the new Pokemon. Stuff like that. So, we got some uh, cool stuff coming up. Anyway, uh, we're going to be recovering here and uh, actually trapping this into a can't swap out, too. So, it's 
actually boosting its special attack, and I got around my Protect too with a Meteor Beam, which is kind of annoying, and it critted me too, so I was like, man. Now, the EVs in this Milotic were max health and max special defense, and it was very, very bulky. Like, Milotic is an extremely bulky Pokemon, right? So here, I'm going to go for Recover. I thought, if I can get enough Recovers off, or I can just wait long enough for the Toxic to take this thing, this pain in the bum out. That, that's, that's my goal here. So now it's going to go for another Meteor Beam. Basically, they're going to be boosting their attack. Now, the good thing about Meteor Beam, now that I've seen what, when they're going to do it, is I can easily go for Protect and block their attack. Now, they could go for Photo and Geyser as well. That's another, that's a very worrying sort of move there. But they can't boost their special attack anymore. Well, they, they can, but I'm not going to be able to let them hit it right. So another Meteor Beam there, and it's going to hit my Protect. Now, they can go for a Photo and Geyser this turn. Um, this is probably almost their last turn to be able to do an attack. I can go for a cover here again, but I feel like I'm going to get one shot of regardless because it's very, very bulky, right? So I thought, okay, let's must go for the Whirlpool again. Uh, the Dawnwings Lunala is going to spin around a little bit. And uh, now we've got a photo on Geyser from the uh, the Lunala, unfortunately. And Milotic is going to go down to that one. Not Nothing I could have done. A very powerful Pokemon and a very, very bulky Pokemon at the same time. So that's going to go down to the toxic damage. And we both have one more remaining Pokemon left. So we've had, uh, we had Ice Scales. We've had uh, Fur Coat, Fluff. Stamina, Marvel Scale, and the last one is going to be Water Compaction, which is really, really cool ability. Now, actually, boost your defense if you get hit by a water type move. Now, this was a Water Compaction set with Absorb Bulb as the item, so I get a boost in Special Attack and a boost in uh, defense as well if I got hit by a Water type move. Obviously, their team didn't have any Water type moves, so I actually didn't get to use it in this battle. So, we got a Garbodor G Max versus a, uh, well, I'm just going to put this one plainly. We got a big old heap of trash. Versus a big old sandcastle. This is going to be the final battle here between these two Pokemon. It's going to be 1v1. Now, I was running a special attacking set. On this, I had max health and max special attack. And I had water compaction uh, there as well. Now, I had scorching sands on this one, which is going to be kind of cool. It's a new move too. And I thought that could come in handy. I've got some other like coverage moves like uh, um, Shadow Ball. And I've got Shore Up as well. And I thought that would be really, really cool. Um, and I also could activate the uh, Sandstorm as well. And then if I came out of Dynamax, right, I could use Shore Up and get like an extra like health recovery using that move. So uh, I really like Shiny Palisand. It looks really, really cool. I actually like Palisand in general. It's a very nice Pokemon. So Garbodor is going to go for its G-Max move here. It does obviously no damage at all. But obviously what they were trying to do is to poison me because it always like poisons, right? So Palisand is now poisoned. I thought this would be a good opportunity to go for uh, the Max Quake. Now Max Quake, the good thing about Max Quake, right, it's going to be super effective and it's actually going to boost my special defense too. Um, which is going to be handy, making me even more bulkier, right? So boosting that special defense, I thought I could go for maybe a rock-type move afterwards um, on that. I had the Ancient Power as the other move, too. So uh, we got a Max Quake now from the Garbodor, boosting the special defense of that. That's probably going to help them out more than it's going to help me out, depending on what sort of set they've got, if it's physical, if it's special, or if it's mixed. I don't really have a 100% clear idea at the moment. We're going to go for a max Rockfall here on the Garbodor. What I'm going to do, I'm going to actually put the Sandstorm up because I feel like even if I attack the next turn, I'm not going to be able to take it out and I'll actually be able to heal myself up with Shore Up, right? Because um, it's a sure thing we're both going to be out of Dynamax or G-Max and Dynamax. So uh, we got another turn there of the Poison. And I'm also going to get, uh, you know, the Garbodor's going to take some extra damage from the Sand too, which is going to be very helpful uh, after the Dynamax or G-Max. So man, there's Dynamax and a G-Max. Okay, um, also I've been thinking up some uh, good teams I'm going to do for the uh, DLC too. So if you've got any cool team suggestions um, based around the DLC, let me know in the comment section. You can put them down there. I always go through my um, comments in the morning too after I eat my breakfast. So I do read all my comments. So first thing I'll do is I'll, I'll, I'll work out in the morning, right? And then I'll start, you know, as I eat breakfast, I'll sort of like scroll through all the day's comments there on my phone. So uh, I always do read them. So yeah. Um, if you do like uh, re do like putting a comment down there, make sure you do. I, I do like reading them in the morning and stuff. Okay, so we are both out of uh, G Max and Dynamax, of course, and I'm gonna take this thing out. First thing I'm gonna do is go for the Shrub. Now, Garbodor is gonna be a special set. It does no damage to Sludge Bomb. I was wondering why they actually did that move for. I was like wondering if they have any moves to actually even hit me with. Um, I'm going to go for the Shore Up, uh, and that's going to definitely get all my health back because of the sand, right? Now, they're going to take some more Sandstorm damage. They're within range for me to take out regardless. I pretty much just Shore Up there as a safety net in case there was any, like, really powerful moves. So it's going to be a mix set. Stomping Tantrum is going to do hardly any damage at all. And I can go for a Scorching Sands here on the Garbodor. That almost takes out, gets very, very close after the Sandstorm damage, too. Now, I can go for any move to take this out. I've got, I can even go for a Shore Up again to take it out, right? So I think their best move they have 
had was like, uh, they had a poison type move being Sludge Bob. They had Scorching Sands. Uh, sorry, I had Scorching Sands. And they had High Horsepower. So they didn't really have any moves to hit me there at all. They really needed to take me out in G-Max. And uh, Palisand was uh, too good a counter for the Garbodor. And that was the uh, first battle. Thank you for the battle, Ice Cube. Let's get on to the second battle. I get to use some of the Pokemon uh, in the second battle. I didn't get to quite use so much in the first one. Uh, this was a battle against uh, Jason. This one was on my Twitch as well. I'm not sure if this was someone from the chat or was it random because uh, when I do my battles on Twitch, I, I'll battle like someone in the chat, right? And then I'll do a random. So I sort of go in between. So sometimes, I'm, I'm not sure. I can't always remember if it was uh, for someone in the chat or not. So we got a Rudy Regus Lady and Frostmoss got a miss for Triple Axel on the first turn. God dang. So it's going to set up the uh, Stealth Rocks here. That's going to be really bad for Frostmoss. So I want to make sure I can get as much damage uh, on this thing as possible. So go for the first triple axle there. Oh, I'm going to get the Wandering Spirit. Ice Scales is going to disappear. And I've still got two more hits to go. I mean, of course, if I do land them right. So the second one does a lot of damage. And the third one takes Runarigus out. So that was really awesome there. That was so good taking a Runarigus out with the physical Frost Moth set with Triple Axle. Triple Axle is a really strong move too. So the next Pokemon is the Boofalant. So it's like, okay, Boofalant, um, I know that I can't take this out in one shot with one Triple Axle, but let's see how much I can do, right? So going for the first hit, the second hit, and the third one is going to drop really hard because I actually got a crit there. And uh, Medium Rare almost got uh, turned into, uh, well, dumb. Man, I really don't like, when you have a steak, right? This is my personal opinion. I, I like Medium Rare. I don't like uh, Well Done because it's like eating a, um, a tire on a car. And rare and like blue and all that's so just like you may you might as well just take out a, a bite out of like a cow like that that boof on there you might as well take a bite out of it in real life so down goes the boof right there um which is really cool uh frost moth has taken two pokemon out now which is uh which is awesome and the next pokemon we got is the uh, arcanine here so like, okay well at this stage ember's gonna take me out in one chop and it's got the Intimidate too. So it's like, should I cut my losses in and just swap out? They're like, yeah, I'll swap it out. I know there's Stealth Rocks on the field, but I might be able to find some use for it, you know, maybe uh, later on in the depths of the uh, last bit of the battle, maybe. So swapping your Mudstyle, they expecting a Flare Blitz or a Fire type move. And uh, Mudstyle is going to be uh, perfect to swap in because I get a Stamina Boost. And uh, that's going to be really nice. I know the next Flare Blitz will not take me out either. And it's going to take some recoil damage too. So this is a bulky set. Now it's going to go for will o -Wisp. I was like, okay, well, Fish is going to get around will o -Wisp. That'll be... That'll be good to use, and I might be able to do some other damage to it. So this Mudsdale set was a special one. We had Max Health and Max First Take going for that Earth Power, and that takes the Arcanine out in one shot. That was awesome. Um, the item on this one was Choice Specs, so um, I, I, sometimes I went for Fissure with the Choice Specs. It didn't really matter, so I could sort of disguise what set it was that way. But I had Choice Specs. So now we got the uh, Shiver coming, which is the uh, Frost Lance, and it's going to have Triple Axel as well. So, okay. I'm going to be able to take this one super easy. So Mudstyle is going to get a stamina boost from that, which is going to be great. And uh, it's going to be boosting my stamina up like every single time. But it critted me on the second one. Uh, so I actually got a crit on my second one too, which is like really ironic there. So uh, that that was just bad luck there. I could have uh, maybe got um, some more damage off. So anyway, swapping on Frostmoth. I know that I'm going to take like half my health now to the Stealth Rock. And it's going to be a fully physical set with Poltergeist. So it's going to attack me with my Choice Band, which is... Uh, which is not going to be very nice for my Frostmoth, and it's going to go down in one shot with a crit too. I don't know if that one mattered, but uh, goodbye Frostmoth. So uh, we got to take this thing out. Definitely got to take this out. Now the next Pokemon I got is the Persian. So Persian is very fast. I know that I can get around a um, a Sash if it's got one right. But the unfortunate part about this is right. I've only got four Pokemon to work with beat up. So um, if I use it, definitely with beat up, it's best using that move at the start. Like you can make the fully use of six hits. As it goes on, uh, you know, as you start losing Pokemon, right, um, the move beat up becomes really, really bad. Like, it's definitely outclassed by some other things. Normally, you'd probably have to Dynamax it to make it into a better move. That would be my advice if you sort of were using that. But, uh, yeah, it's it's not. It's only a good early game move. And as the Pokemon start to drop off, it becomes like dead weight. So, it's going to keep going for a triple axe. Here. I get hit uh, three times there. The fur coat saving my behind there. I uh, go for a beat up here. Hoping I can get a crit and take this thing out. That is two hits. And that is going to be three hits to take out Frostmoth, which is... No, not Frostmoth, Frostlass. Man, I'm getting both of them mixed up. And uh, that's down, which is really good. So I've got two more Pokemon to deal with, and I've got four more Pokemon left. So I'm in a fairly uh, strong position here. 
Now, out comes the Arachnid and Cool Last Shotty, and I can go for a bug type move and easily take me out. But if I can get maybe a couple of turns of King's Rock Flinch, that'd be very, very handy. Like, this Pokemon's quite bulky too, right? So getting a crit there on the second one, which is really cool. And as you can see, the damage on it is very, very minimal. So I'm going to need maybe like three or four more of them to even take it out. So I get four hits there, and now it's going to go for a sticky web. So, okay, um, obviously it has enough uh, time to set up a sticky web, then take me out afterwards. It's taking them very nicely. The only bad thing for them would be if I keep getting King's Rock flinches. That would be, you know, they miss their opportunity to take me out. Maybe, I don't know. So I go for some more beat-ups on the uh, Rackley. I get four this time, and it's going to go for a lunge here. And I know my Persian won't live that, and it's going to go down. But Persian did a good job there, got rid of a couple of Pokemon, and, uh, you know, I got to reveal some of what the, what the opponent's moves are too, which is really good. So it's going to take some uh, a loss in health there. So it's got their Life Orb as the item. And now I'm going to go into Beware. I'm like, okay, Beware. I could go for a round here to boost my Special Attack, and then I could go for a Hyper Beam. Um, I am going to get outsped by this thing, which is going to be kind of bad, right? So it's going to go for a Liquid. I'm like, okay, okay, how well am I going to take this? I take it pretty well, which is really, really good there. It's going to lose some of itself. I'm going to pop that round, and I'm going to boost my special attack right. Now, I knew that round wouldn't take it out because round's got very low base power, but I just wanted to activate uh, throat, uh, my um, you know, my throat spray, right? And uh, I, I didn't get, this time I didn't get, like, countered by a uh, friggin' throat chop, right? So uh, my Beware's going to take some toxic damage. They actually poison me, which is really bad, and they're going to take themselves out there with the uh, life orb. So that's how it was, right? And we've got one more Pokemon left. So I've got, I can fire a good old quality hyper beam at the opponent. That's what I was hoping to do, right? Now, Beware's got about a quarter health left, and the last Pokemon is Mag Magneton. So I'm like, okay, no hyper beams today. The best I can do is focus miss here, and it's going to be a Dynamax Magneton. And i got to say this, right? I really got to say this. I probably said this before, but I really love Shiny Magneton. Looks like really, really good, and it looks so much better than Magnezone, in my opinion, right? The, 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 the black on silver looks really, really cool. It reminds me of the first time I've seen it in the anime, and then, like, nothing was just said about it. I, th I think I'm mentioned that before like they need to say more stuff about shiny pokemon uh looks really cool as dynamax too so now magneton is going to go for a steel a max steel spike i'm going to go ahead and assume it came off flash cannon and uh beware is not going to be living that one like it definitely isn't man look at those little screws like they're, they're just spinning around so i've got uh two more pokemon left here i'm going to go for Milotic. So i thought okay what I'm going to do, right, I'm going to lay the bait, right? I'm going to swap in Malatik. They're going to have to go for... They, well, they're, they're going to be inclined to go for Electro-type move, right? And then what I'll do is I'll swap back into Palisand, and it won't take any damage because of being that typing, right? So that could be a good way of actually stalling out the Dynamax. And then I'm starting to think, if I go for Dynamax this turn on Palisand and go for Max Guard on Shore Up, right... That'll completely and utterly stall out the Magneton's Dynamax for two turns, which is, you know, like super, super handy, right? So I thought that'd be the best play. And then I could hit it with like a ground type move and it'd be super effective too. Now, I'm definitely going to go ahead and assume that it's got Everlight as its item too, but I thought that was uh, just good play to get around the Dynamax there. I had the, I had the right Pokemon. So it's quite interesting that Palisand has the same sort of entrance into its Dynamax as G-Max Gengar. Um, has into its one too. It sort of comes out of the ground. So I'm going to go for that max guard like I thought I was going to do there. And it's got a max steel spike, and that's not going to do any damage at all. Now, Magneton is out of its uh, Dynamax. It's not going to be able to do as much damage to me, and I'm going to be able to tank things like really, really well. So Magneton is going to go for a protector, trying to stall out, of course, trying to stall out my Dynamax. The problem about that is I'm still going to do some forms of damage, and I'm going to bolster my special defense at the same time too. And it still does really, really good damage shot. I'm thinking it's it's actually not Everlight. It took a little bit too much damage to that. Because, uh, like, you know, Protect, it should have taken, like, a little bit less. So now it's going to go for a Flash Cannon. This does, like, minimal damage to my uh, Palisand. And that, my friends, is the second battle. I hope you enjoyed this one. I got to use uh, Palisand a lot, which is cool. A really nice Pokemon there. And uh, we've seen some good sets on the other side, too. And I'll see you people probably for the Crown Tundra DLC. There may be one Pokemon Suite before that. All right, people. Peace out.